Salutations, ladies and germs. My name is Mr. Fox, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. All right, what information do you guys have? You were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, Beast. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. <sighs> what secrets were you keeping? You're going to bring up ancient history. I don't have to stand here and listen. Fine. Go off in a huff. I'm, I'm through talking anyway. Marital disputes, monsieur and madame. That's why I forgot the other part of your intro. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Leave me alone. Oh. What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Well, you called me. You're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen. I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I mean, I you did hear kidnap about her. all night long from her. Oh, that must be so terrible. Who's there? Beast? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, alright? Now, as I was saying, you had to deal with your wife talking to you all night. I That's your pal. was shotgunned the f Hi, baby. Uh, shot excuse with us a for silver just a bullet. Almost had my head Can chopped off. My arm was yes. broken so let's. bad there was a bone sticking out of it. And you're gonna lecture me about having a rough night? Bitch, I will break your... Hmm. Wow. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Yeah, you guys are... Going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? I don't know what the electric bill really is for that thing. Speak. Roughing it, huh? I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you hmm. want to keep fighting Talk about, about that? living in the We're past. Try to sort this out. Yeah, Stockholm Syndrome on at its finest. We bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. Okay. You guys know I can hear you, right? Your walls, they're paper thin. Sorry, it's been a long night. You, yeah, you gotta you stop telling me that. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say... Your place? It looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? Because I got I didn't shot know what else to do. up because yeah. of that. We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to... Complicate I things. called I will throw you at that window. Can help us out. I have precedent like for this. this. I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. I have I gotta been know shot. one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man, and I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of... Have you seen stuff, my apartment? Okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. 
who would we be if we just lived like normal people? Um, let me just, uh... A yep. day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> hey, we're and we not can done come to the phone I right should... now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Because next time, I'm making a house call. The crooked man's gonna get his uh, one way this. or another. Shit. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? I already know you're in trouble. I can... I can hear it. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Now, was that so the man's hard, behind that people? Place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Well... Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Hmm. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Really? Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. <sighs> You gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. When I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. So you do their dirty work. And look the other way. Can't see work it. Work is work. Face All you. I do is deliver stuff. I just wanted to provide for Beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Can 
look out to the I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher wait, shop. Wait, shit. You know, I didn't want to go there. I want to give up. The there, fuck? Word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I don't go around fixing debts. Lucky for you, what I am gonna do might just fix it anyway. Just keep us in mind, please? I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I hate you. Hello. You, you have a shit. You, you just have a shit selection. You don't even have smoked meats. Like, come on. What the fuck is this? What are you? That is frozen. Not very appetizing. That is freezer burned. Frozen even. solid. Who'd want to eat this? Well, at least the drinks are cold. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. You know, this would be a lot better. Fuck you. I'm investigating. Bigby Wolf? It's me. <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <clears throat> Got any cuts, dude? You know it. Um, I know it. Let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. I know about the deliveries. The ones going in and out of here. Well, of course there are deliveries. <laughs> we don't raise the cows in mm -hmm. here. Beast told me. He said these packages aren't meat. Well... What else would they be? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you, dude. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh... We do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. You better stop fucking around, butcher. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. Ah, oh, you are. I can tell just by looking at it that your meat ain't selling. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Motherfucker. Shit. Now, if you try to attack me, this is not going to go well for you. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. You're a faux fuck liar, we both know it. Now, luckily for you, apparently I'm not allowed to wolf out on people. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Mine or yours? Because I really feel like it's yours at this point. Come on, damn it. Fuck this. It's 
not for everyone. <laughs> no sweating, Sheriff. Just go on to the front. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. Well, it's a good thing you got <gasps> your good buddy here. It's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. I'm not gonna rip your way. throat out. Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm yeah, I kind of got that. They back. muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Cube. I wasn't even hitting you. But I'm sorry for hitting you now. I'm very sorry. But it has to be done. It looks like they be making drugs. But you got a regular Walter White situation going on back here. Now lucky for you, I am the sh holy fuck. Just had to ring that thing, didn't you? You know what could have helped you, right? Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. I get why you flipped that switch, but you had a choice. You could have told me. And warn them, I might be dealing with your problem right now. Told you? Yes. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. People are Where dead. were you when they took this place from me? Where were you not saying anything to me? It hasn't been easy for me. This is what everyone's saying. I want say. to live with this at my back. I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. Seriously, why does no one just call my office being like, hey, I got a crime to report, sir. So this is what they're Beast stealing my place to make glamours, black market glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Could have said something, Butcher. Could have said something. No. Anyways, we will end today's episode here. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you all have an amazing day and stay classy.